we are recording packet tracer and we'll be using the ping command. Uh, this scenario is about a small business owner learns that the user of PC2 is unable to access the web site. All the PCs are configured with the static IP address dressing using the ping command to identify the issue. Um, I'm just going to go to desktop and type in the web browser C-I-S-C-O-L-E-R-N dot more dot com and it pops right up and check the second PC show you that it doesn't work uh, C-I-S-C-O-L-E-A-R-N dot more dot com and it probably won't pop up it takes a while to pop up it says it takes about a minute but I doubt it's gonna pop up the other one took was way faster So what we need to do is we need to go into our command prompt and ping it. Make see why it's not. See if it, we can get there by pinging it. C I S C O L E A. Oops, too many A's. A R N dot more. Dot com enter. Well, that's doing that. I'm gonna go to the other one. Do the same thing. Ping Cisco. Learn more. Com. And it was right away. It's like, oh yeah, we got it right away. And then, uh, we'll go back to this one. And it's still looking. Yeah, I never found it. So now we gotta figure out why it's not finding it. So what we'll do is we'll go back to PC1, go to command prompt, go IP config, enter, oh I need to put in IP config, space, slash all so all of it pops up and the DNS is what we're looking at and it says 192.15.2.5 so we need to go and do that to our PC2 and go IP config Space all. Oops. Yeah, slash in there. And its DNS is one nine one fifteen two five. So what we need to do is go into config and change our not our one into a two.
and go to our desktop and then ping uh, Cisco learn dot more dot com and we have it and to verify that we'll go to our web browser and we're going to type in the address fix the the problem now now they have internet access to the computer and we'll check our results and we can get we've passed our test thank you for watching